So for us guitar players, reverb is a pillow slash cushion for our tone. It's a must in every amp that we own. It's all our favorite thing about guitar, reverb. More reverb. So today, we're gonna practice without reverb. Let's go. So I think it's safe to say that for us guitar players, whether we're practicing in our room or gigging, we want to have reverb on our amp or on a pedal. And I've been like that too. Ever since I started playing guitar, even until now, I can't survive without reverb. But there was a stint where that all changed. So I entered Berkeley in the fall of 2013, and in the spring of 2014, I had my very first semester of my private instruction class with my then teacher and now friend, Mr. Tomo Fujita. And if I remember correctly, I walked into his room for my lesson, made my settings, started playing, at which point he said, no reverb. And for the first time I was like, Oh my God, this cushion, this blanket that I've always known is gone. The reason for no reverb was not to make you uncomfortable, was so that everything was heard, so that you would be forced to play very precisely, very finessed. So any imperfection in your sound would be heard. And to that, let's continue in the video. So as I mentioned in my last video, every guitar room at Berkeley had a Fender Howard Deluxe like mine here. So let's look over the settings that Tomo would have in his office. So here are my current settings. The settings in Tomo's office on the Howard Deluxe would be treble, nine, bass, four, middle, six, reverb, up, and a little bit of presence. So now let's check out this tone. So amp is set, here's a tone. So as you can obviously hear, it's a very dry tone. Not the tone that you would necessarily want to play live, but for practicing, it's perfect. Why? Because you hear everything. So now let's take a look at some exercises we can do with no reverb. So now that we have the tone, let's look over three exercises that are very fundamental to everyone's playing scales, triads, and arpeggios with the stress of no excess noise. Let's check it out. First up, scales. Doesn't have to be slow, it doesn't have to be fast, at a comfortable speed for you, but still no excess noise. Next up, Triads. We'll do them in C.
no excess noise. And finally, arpeggios. Three octave major, we can do three octave minor. How about three octave diminished? Again, you want to emphasize no string noise. Doesn't matter what speed, fast or slow, do it at a comfortable pace with no string noise. And if you want something more complicated, we can do like a help on the way riff. So I'm not saying that we should ditch the reverb, but if you're having trouble with your playing, making too much excessive noise in your playing, and you're just not super accurate, then ditching the reverb while practicing and focusing on the finesse, hitting the right notes, and not making any excess noise will help you a lot. So that's today's video. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.